Hello and welcome back to Affinity for Games and in this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how to configure the Raspberry Pi itself or the Raspbian GUI interface and this is such as your uh, actual keyboard um, to make it standardized for the United States uh, because the Raspberry Pi was actually developed in Great Britain so you'll notice that a couple of the keys and everything will not uh, produce what it is that you are used to whenever doing so and we'll set the uh, time and other things of that nature so let's go ahead and jump right in first we're going to need to log in to it the default username is going to be pi and then raspberry now this is a remote terminal so I can't do absolutely everything uh, but I should still be able to show you the general basics so next we're going to type in the sudo command and this actually stands for super user do this gives you root access to the actual machine itself uh, so it's a lot like administrator in windows and then we're going to type raspy and then dash config and press enter Alright, so I misspelled it a few times as you can see there, but if you spell it correctly, it'll actually take you in to the uh, uh, settings menu here where you can actually adjust everything. And so first of all, we're going to set the keyboard layout. So you just press down and then press enter over here. And then give it a few moments to load up. Alright, so once it actually loads to the different screen here, pressing uh, enter on generic 105 key Intel PC is going to be fine as well. Alright, and you can see that it automatically defaults to the English UK. So what we're going to go uh, do here is actually go down to other and then scroll up. to English US is actually pressed down. And then scroll up to the top for English US. And just go with the default. And just hit no compose. And this is totally up to you uh, for control alt backspace to uh, terminate the X server. I like it, it's a lot like control alt delete to bring up your task manager, however the task manager is not going to be brought up, it will just uh, basically end it for you, it's what it reminds me of though, so I usually hit yes here, and then it's going to take you back to the uh, settings screen in just a few moments. Alright, and for you to actually get maximum use out of the SD card that you have stored, go down to the expand underscore root fs, and then press enter there. Now this is uh, an emulation uh, terminal that I have here so I'm not going to be able to do it but I'll still go through the same steps that you would. So you just hit enter and then you're just going to select yes or ok or whatever it does pop up there and just click ok again whenever it comes up. Alright so then you can just go ahead and change your time zone as well. And for whatever time zone you're in, you're just going to go ahead and select that. I'm in the U.S. And then I'm also in Eastern Time. Okay, so if you want to change the password, you can go ahead and click on Change Password. Uh, most of this stuff is self-explanatory here, so I'm not going to go into that particular setting. But if you want to SSH into the actual terminal itself in the future, so basically this is like a remote desktop you're, ju you're just going to need your IP address and whatever your password is set to and then on your machine like Windows uh, that I'm on right here you can just download uh, a PuTTY client 
and open putty up and type in your IP address and then your terminal of your Raspberry Pi as long as it is running uh, you can remote into its actual network so you can see it displayed on the Windows machine itself so you can hit enter and then just click yes if you wanted to do that and also normally in the RetroPie configuration it's uh, set up to boot to emulation station automatically but you can have it start to the desktop instead if you wanted to just by clicking on that and uh, lastly it's always good to go ahead and perform the updates and upgrades and everything like that if you haven't already done so alright and I'll be continuing this uh, video series on how to set up your Rational Pi uh, in the near future I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it was helpful for you please click like if you thought it was thank you and have a good day